So we are here at the headquarters of the Rwanda Wildlife Conservation Association and uh, working with the vets um, and uh, trying to provide some capacity building, some training on wildlife veterinary operations. So going through all the basics, starting with presentations, risks individual animals, what you should pack, what the attitude should be of a wildlife vet, what are the opportunities. Um, and now we just finished some, some practical um, starting on a target and we organized all our equipment and we are heading out to Akagera National Park for, for the actual um, practical component of the course. First day of the training course, we're here in Yamashama Plain in Kagera National Park. We've found some zebra, so right now the training vets are going through with the trainees how to load the darts, how to determine the dosage, and then the first team will hop into the darting vehicle. We'll move close to the zebra and see if we can put a dart in. Once the dart's in, we'll, everyone will stay back nice and quiet, wait for the animal to go to sleep, and then we'll jump in and start the interventions. Right, let me know when you're ready to move. Uh, this training is very amazing. We are getting a lot of experience. We are with uh, great mentors. So today is our next day, so I'm really excited for the things that we are going to learn today. It's looking for its family. They're right there and it's walking straight to them. We are going to try a buffalo now. So there's a nice big herd here. So we're gonna slowly approach, try not to disturb them. And then the team, the darting team on the back will select their animal and we'll reposition so we can take the shot. We are putting a lot of efforts to training Rwandan veterinarians because um, uh, among the threats to wildlife, one of it is uh, the threats to their own health. It can be disease, it can be injuries from like snares, from poaching, it can be all sorts of things. So to be able to save every single species at a time, you need like veterinarians on the ground, you need people who are skilled. We are really happy for this opportunity. It's, it's really exciting for what we are doing, trying to immobilize lions. It was really a wonderful experience and we are happy for this. We hope to achieve more in the future because we are going to be more experienced in this field. We just darted those three lines to put a collar and collect samples. And uh, we just gave the antidote eight minutes ago and just waiting them to wake up. See them move off to the to the family. The family is down there, and then we can go back and have dinner. Uh, so the first signs you see of recovery will be the ears moving and the eyes twitching. That's an indication that the antidote is kicking in. It is the final day of our field training in wild animal capture and we are so excited. This morning is really looking foggy and uh, we are going to go down in the plains to see what we can find, to watch animals we can find. But more importantly is that this exercise really combined with the park activities where like we are fitting some collars to track the animals to understand their movements and behavior, all of that. almost eight years as a vet, but this is the first experience working with wildlife species and oh my god, it's so exciting and amazing. 
to see um, uh, young veterinarians and other veterinarians really uh, having this uh, unique experience like uh, like with animals, touching the animals, uh, capturing them, taking samples, being comfortable with animals, that really uh, is uh, my highlight of the whole exercise. Yeah, it's been a, a busy four days of training. Um, I think it's gone very well for some of the vets. They've been in the park many times before and have more experience for other vets. It's their first time and some people didn't even see a lion until yesterday, which is really awesome. Um, trying to set the foundation of having interest and effort and passion for this type of work. And I think we did a really good job of that by getting people different types of experience, different roles, different situations, some easy, some challenging, some brand new, some, you know, people had a chance to show what they know. Um, so I think very impactful for four days and looking forward to doing more where we can give new situations to these vets and give them a chance to excel. I just want to say thank you to Rwanda Wildlife Conservation Association for allowing us, Joao Almeida from Mozambique Wildlife Association and myself, to work with the team. We've got some very willing learning people here. We've got, a, it's a starting point from where we can go into the future. I think what has happened in this last four days is we managed to share a lot of our good experience with people that are starting off in this career and haven't had as much time and, and exposure as we've had. Fantastic opportunity and very grateful to be able to be part of this journey. So on behalf of WCN, we are very grateful for doing this and we will continue to commit to support these things. As government, we do uh, support and we will keep supporting these uh, ongoing trainings and of course for other practices we are ready and we are so excited to have the local ones keep practicing this. It's very important, um, this has been for a long uh, time uh, with external support coming in to do some capture of course with the local around there but uh, this was very special that now it was targeting to build the capacity of the local people so we are so excited and happy and we thank everyone and supporters our partners and all the trainees that uh, have been here devoted their time and we encourage them to continue reading more, practicing more, and learning more until we get to another uh, training like this in the future. We really thank the park for giving us this opportunity to really work in a park and build the capacity of young Rwandans uh, to take on conservation of uh, the most uh, endangered and the threatened species. Um, but also we thank like the trainers, uh, Marcus, Joao, for really making their time to come and be with us. And all the supporters from Houston to WCN, Org Foundation, uh, thank you so much for making this possible. Um, Akajira Management Company, we can't thank you enough. So yeah, um, um, to be continued. We can't wait to continue this uh, with a lot of energy and uh, willing to make a difference.